All right, so as you can see, I've already uh, ran another piece of Romex between my uh, what's going to end up being my outlet box for a, uh, for a switch, rather. Um, so I'm going to have a light switch here. Um, it's going to have a piece of Romex, which is bringing my power in. I'm going to have a piece of Romex that will take power, once I flip the switch, up to a lamp post, which will go up on top there. Now, one thing you should note here when you're looking at this, I've, I've created a little bit extra length here. Um, normally, you wouldn't do that. Normally, in an exposed situation, you would have this shorter and have it, uh, excuse me, stapled right up to here. But you can see I've fed it up through this hole that's been pre-drilled and up into my lamp post. So just a little note for you there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to um, strip wire off of these connectors or off of these wires in order to make connections. So we'll zoom in here and, uh, and show you how to do that. Okay, so we've zoomed in here to our box which is going to contain our light switch. And what I've done is I've taken the single pole light switch. It has two connectors on it, two, uh, two screw posts that is, and of course one switch. And uh, what I'm going to do is just set it aside here in my little uh, tool compartment and I'm going to show you how to strip some wire. Now our wire stripper has a red handle to it and in order to open it up usually uh, it's easiest with your right hand but if you're left handed you can make it work too with this side. But you can see it's got a little locking mechanism here on it. All you do is gently squeeze to release it and then just push that out like so and you'll see that it releases. Now you might wonder how long or how much insulation should I strip, uh, strip off and that's a good question because you don't want to strip too much off but you don't want to have too little. The goal is to make good connections here to these lamp posts. So on the back of pretty much every single um, <coughs> every single uh, light switch or uh, outlet, electrical outlet, there's going to be a little uh, guide here. And this guide, if you take a close look, it actually says a strip gauge. Okay, um, There's a little length there. So that's a good guide. Um, if you strip a little bit longer than that, or strip more insulation off than that, you can always cut, it, uh, cut the uh, wire a little shorter. And that's usually what, what electricians do, is they just kind of eyeball it. So what I'm going to do, this is our first one. I'm going to take the uh, black because I'm going to strip off black and, uh, and white off of each one. I'll show you just a couple here real quick. I'm going to take and hold that up like so to my strip gauge and you can see I'm, I'm basically taking about oh maybe a half inch off. Not a whole lot. So I'm going to put my switch down. I'm going to find the 14 gauge on my, on my uh, wire strippers here and I'm going to put that right in the 14 like that. So I'm going to clamp them right in like so. I'm going to squeeze and then gently wiggle and off it comes just like that. Now I wasn't squeezing down very hard. I was actually releasing the pressure a little bit as I went and you can see that this insulation popped right off. Now I know it's going to be difficult when you're working. Sometimes it pops off. Again, that's why we have the safety glasses on. But <clears throat> Try the best you can of actually dropping all of your garbage right into this little tool uh, uh, tool bin that we have built into the trainer. Okay, one other note here while I'm talking about wires. The end of this wire is very sharp. Um, I've had many a uh, cut knuckle and, and cut in my hand, so you really want to be careful when you're working with this. So once I've stripped that, I'm going to put that out of the way. Again, take about a half inch. Squeeze it between the strippers on the 14 gauge, give it a little wiggle, pull it up, and there we have a perfectly stripped wire. Now we don't have to worry about the ground wire of course because that's already bare. I'll continue again about a half inch. You can see that once you get into a good rhythm they're pretty easy to do. And there you have it. So just like that, I have stripped the insulation off of four of my wires that I'm going to need to do some wiring.